Technology is going to impact the way that we interact with consumers and the way that that's going to affect our businesses. I think progress will be made on the software side. The world is ruled by software these days. Uh, I think there are some fantastic uh, devices that are present in the market today, but actually software will drive the innovation. If I had a crystal ball, then I'd certainly be investing in those software companies today. From a business perspective, having uh, your infrastructure managed from a software perspective that can lay across that, plus your cloud environment for application delivery is gonna be important. And I think collaboration software suites are going to be important for employee satisfaction and also customer satisfaction as well. I think we'll see uh, the next generation of all flash drives from a storage perspective. I think we'll see more and more security being built into the hardware layers uh, within devices coming out. We'll see machine learning being embedded into uh, more and more devices to help protect those devices, prevent downtime. Primarily, I think in the short term, really the device that we all have in our pockets is going to be still the most powerful device. You know, people are t talking about various kinds of computing models, um, whether that's artificial intelligence being built into sort of computing or whether that's uh, quantum, which will be happening in a few years. Fundamentally, we're still in the mobile era. Now, the way that we start using mobile will be very different. I think that we're going to start seeing AI applied in lots of kind of different and interesting ways. We're probably going to maybe start using less apps and we're going to start using services that are already uh, embedded in messaging services like uh, WhatsApp and Facebook Messenger and WeChat in, in, uh, in China. And we're probably going to be using our voice a lot more than we've ever done before. topics that will be hot on the radar for IT leaders next year, I think will be the rollout of IoT, um, the Internet of Things, I think the ability to sense the environment, the physical world around us, to be able to collect data on that world and gain business insight and business benefit uh, from that data should be something that all IT leaders should be looking at. We know today that only roughly 50% of companies are looking at this. I expect that to expand over the next 12 to 18 months. Looking into the future and, and looking at future technologies that's going to have the biggest impact, I would say the move from uh, today our CPU-centric world from a compute perspective, which has been around now as a, as, as a, I suppose, a configuration for 40, 50, 60 years. And we're going to move, uh, in my belief, to memory-centric computing. We'll see new layers of memory being created that will be faster, lower power, uh, connected via photonics and storing huge amounts of data in a very small space. We're going to see digitization of the workplace with artificial intelligence. The whole point about artificial intelligence, machine learning, deep learning, is that it's going to take over things that we do, humans do, on a day-to-day -day basis in all walks of life, whether that's driving a car, whether it's doing uh, some delicate surgery on a patient in a hospital, whether it's writing a book. I think the real challenge for every organisation now is that customer service is set by the best in class. So once you know you, consumers are used to dealing with you know the user interface of Netflix or the user interface of Apple, they kind of expect that with everything. So they expect it with their banking services. They expect it with their retailers. Same with you know delivery, whether that's kind of a service delivery online or service delivery in the real world. If you're used to getting um, goods delivered to you uh, through uh, you know, a large retailer, international retailer, and they can do it within you know, same day delivery, you're gonna expect that from everyone else. So the way that consumers are judging every organization now is through best in class. The tech challenges as we move to 2018, 2019, every business that I've spoken to, most of them have a pretty clear view of where they wanna get to. The challenge is how to get there. How do you migrate over your applications to that split hybrid cloud environment? How do you get the employees operating in a collaborative manner with that software estate, with those devices? So it's not necessarily they don't have clarity of where they want to get to, but how to get there. 
Someone like Insight can come in and provide the services and solutions to help organisations on that journey as we do today, uh, but it's a, it's a real challenge, uh, I would suggest, for organisations and that will carry on, as I say, 2018-2019.